I'm going to do a quick video on the generator settings using the 6000 XP and the uh, website monitor site. Um, just quick, uh, my generator is just going to be a grid connection, uh, but it's connected to the grid or generator ports. So when I enable it, uh, just remember it's a grid connection, not a generator at the moment. But the settings are what you're here for. What settings am I going to change in order to activate the generator charging? Uh, my batteries are at 95%, so I'm going to have to make some tweaks to it. But generally speaking, the settings are just state of charges that you would be changing or voltages. All right, so these are my settings. Uh, my voltage, or I'm sorry, my state of charge is 95%, so I can't use a state of charge to activate the generator dry contact. So just keep in mind that 90% is the minimal starting point, and I have it set to 100. So instead, I'm going to change it to voltage from state of charge to voltage. Just in this example, because my battery is at 95, not 94. <clears throat> and then from there, I'm going to have it stop charging at 57. I'm going to have it start charging. Uh, my batteries are currently at 53.2, so anything over 54 would start the generator <clears throat> if I was relying on the dry contacts. So when I hit set, this one's going to ohm out and chime up because it's uh, now, uh, instead of being normally open, It'll switch from normally open to uh, closed, which means it would be completing the circuit between the COM and the NO1. All right. So I hit set. You're going to hear a beep over here. Relay. Well. There, there you go. Uh, let's turn that off. <clears throat> so now the generator's relay is active. Um, so now if I had, let's say the generator starts up now, it'll automatically start charging. Now the next thing is, what do I want to charge it at? Uh, so my generator charging is set at 30 amps. Let's change this to 50. And my overall charging current limit is 125. I can switch this to, I want to say 140. Yeah, you're not going to see 140. You're going to hit, you're going to top out at 6,000 before you hit uh, 140 amps. I'm sorry, you're going to top out at 6,000 watts. All right, so back down here to generator. So now when I connect power, this inverter will start charging. All right, we got power to the generator. I have not turned on the breaker yet, but let me do one thing to help us all out a little bit. Let me go set the fan speed down to 20. So maybe you can hear me better. All right, so flipping breaker on. Immediately hit 60 hertz. Relays kick on. Fan sprint spinning. Yep, both came on. We got a bar, it says we're doing something special. It says we're charging one kilowatt. Alright. Trying to do this one handed, but it's not working. Alright. Now we're sitting at. I love my just work for once. So 
So we're only doing 20 amps. So let's come over and see what's going on. Maybe I forgot to hit set. BMS charge limits not the issue. So why am I not getting the right amperage? Sorry for the finger. Oh, that's why. Um, I set it at the max, which is what, 70 something? Oh, did they? So when did that change? Okay, let's come back over here. Go to maintenance. Click on read. Max generator input's what I'm looking for. Huh. Okay, well that used to be like 7662 or something weird. Let's just set that to 12,000. Huh. Cool. All right. <clears throat> Learn something new. Let's push this up to 100. Successful. Come over here. Boop, boop, boop. Going on up. So, pulling from the generator, and we already looked at generator end, so let's go to the next setting. Gen select. We have it set to voltage and not uh, state of charge. Um, start. Oh, it's down here. We have it starting at 54 volts. This is setting 25. Go into the next one, you have an ending at 57 volts. Go to the next. So option 25 is the state of charge slash voltage. Go back. And we already did the maximum generator setting. Which was this one here, setting 18. All right, now I need to go to uh, not those cutoffs. Disconnect. I want to say that one. All right, that's my max amps at 140. Um, 140 again. I want to say the C. That's the one. Should, nope, that's 140 as well. 30 amps for 1A. Oh, there it is. So the 19C looks like it's 100 amps for setting 6. So if I switch this down to 50. And look, it's going down. So when I set, let's go back up to down to 19C again. Oh, I'm changing something else. Let's go up. All right, looks like it maxes out at 110 for the generator.
it looks like I'm hitting 92 <clears throat> but let's come up here and uh, let's go through our settings it says we're hitting 5,000 watts it's charging and generator we're pulling 5-2 I thought I would hit 6 but I guess not uh, but expect you won't see 110 amps unless you're like around 48 volts but realize I'm already at I'm at 54 and a half volts so as we get closer to 100% the voltage gets higher and higher so 55.2 it's fluctuating 55.2 and 55.3 uh, obviously the amperage goes down <clears throat> but we're really close to 100% so this will be my final for the generator charging um, but do you have any questions uh, ask away 